We're a travel agency that specializes in Disney destinations, and a question we get all the time is, how do I use Genie Plus? Well, today we're heading into Animal Kingdom to show you just exactly how to do that. So let's go. This morning at like 6.50, we purchased our Genie Plus passes. 7 a.m. we were able to make our first Genie Plus reservation for 8.55 for Navi River Journey. And if you're staying at a Disney resort, the first thing you want to do on an Animal Kingdom day is try to make it for rope drop if you don't want to pay for the individual lightning lane for Flight of Passage. So that is where we're headed right now. We're heading for rope drop for Flight of Passage and that is the first step for your Genie Plus day. So unless you purchase your individual lightning lane. So we're going to do that right now while we're on the bus to do that right now. <laughs> rope dropped flight of passage, had a quick breakfast, bite to eat at Pongu Pongu, and now it's time for our lightning lane over here at Navi River Journey. So we can check in at 8.55. It's 8.50 right now. You can actually check in about six minutes early, or if you're late, you can be about 10 minutes late. That's kind of the wiggle room you have. So once we scan in to Navi Journey, we can make our next Genie Plus selection. So Knowing that, the park opened at 8 o'clock, so typically your next Genie Plus selection will be two hours after park opening, unless you scan into an attraction that happens before then. So since we're going to scan into Navi River Journey, we're going to be able to select our next Lightning Lane attraction. So let's go on Navi River and select our next attraction. Something to keep in mind about attractions when you're scanning in, there is sometimes two checkpoints. So you'll scan your magic band at the front and you'll think that you're ready to make your next Genie Plus selection, but you're gonna have to wait until you scan for the second time. So if you don't know which attractions have two checkpoints, you can check with the cast member at the front, which is what we did here at Navi River. And she let us know that there are two scan points. So once we scan that second one, we'll be able to make our next Collection. So now that we've scanned into our second checkpoint, we are ready to book our next Genie Plus reservation. So we are going to go ahead and do the safari, which is a good route to take if you're here at Animal Kingdom. And morning is the best time to, to uh, get on the safari. So we're going to do that. And as soon as we're done here, we're going to be able to go over to the safari and hop on there. So we were on our way to Kilimanjaro Safaris. We had a lightning we had a lightning lane reserved for 9:45. So I stopped in to grab a Starbucks, and while we were waiting, I just checked the app, and I was able to modify our genie to a 9:15 arrival. So instead of 9:45, we have, our window starts at 9:15. So I'm just gonna enjoy my coffee, and then we can head right over to the safari. So we just scanned in for our safaris. There's only one cap point in here. So since we've already scanned in, we can now pick our next lightning lane attraction. It's only 9.25. So that means that we're still within our two hour window from when the park opened and we can book our next lightning lane already. So I'm gonna show you how to toggle only lightning lanes on the app. And all you have to do is uh, where it says at the top, show only Disney Genie Plus lightning lanes. You click the toggle button and it'll show all the lightning lanes available for you. So I think we're going with Everest because it works with the flow of how we're working through the park today. So the next lightning lane is at 930 and we should have till 1030 to confirm and go scan in for this lightning lane.
always stand in for our Expedition Everest Lightning Lane. So we're going to go ahead and pick our next Disney Genie. It's only 10.07 right now. So I think we're going for Dinosaur because that is the route that we're taking. So 10.10 is the next one that we can get. and we've successfully done four attractions with Genie Plus. We've done Navi River Journey, the Safaris, we're on to number four. We've done Everest and now we're on to number four with Dinosaur. So we've hit all of our big attractions that we wanted to do here at Animal Kingdom using Genie Plus and it's only 1020. So once we go on this one, you're probably thinking, what do we do next? You can also use Genie Plus for any character meet and greets or any shows. So we're gonna pick up a Genie Plus reservation for the Festival of the Lion King, and that will secure us a spot in the show and give us preferred seating. So that's another benefit of using Genie Plus. Okay, so there is only one scan point here at Dinosaur. So I'm gonna go into my tip board and select our lightning lane for Festival of the Lion King. So the next showing is at 11 a.m. So we can head right over there after we get off this attraction. So we just finished Dinosaur and we've entered into Dinoland and I wanted to mention that if Dinosaur is too scary for some of your riders or your rider is under the height requirement, and you're doing rider swap you can pop over here and do triceratops spin and there's some carnival games over here fun little section to spend some time in while you're waiting for the rest of your party to come off of dinosaur so the boneyard is another really good one to spend some time with your littles it's a fun little play area there's some water stations in there to kind of get out of the crowd and have some play time Okay, so now we're ready to book our next Lightning Lane attraction. And I just wanted to show quickly because you're not allowed to book the same attraction twice in the same day. So let's say I wanna book Everest. It is still showing, like it's looking like I can book this experience, but as soon as I click on it, it's gonna tell me that I can't. So it's telling me that we're not eligible to book that experience. So just to let you know, you can only use your Genie Plus Lightning Lane reservation for one attraction. So per one, per attraction, once per attraction, just spit that out. But they'll still, still show up in your app. So now we're kind of looking through and trying to figure out what we want to do next. So we've wrapped up our day here at Animal Kingdom using Genie Plus to its full advantage. We got on some major attractions and we caught a show and we had lunch at Nomad Lounge. We were pretty much wrapped up everything by around 1230. So I'd say we had a really good day. Now if we purchased a multi-class for Genie Plus, we would have been stacking some rides for this afternoon in other parks, but uh, we were just focused on one park today. So if you found this valuable, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel for more helpful information on how to simplify your Disney vacations. And as always, I hope you have an amazing day wherever you are. Bye guys.